There are three main types of face covers that protect the wearer and those around them to different degrees. The face covers are generally split into three categories based on material of mask and intended use. Remember to always practice appropriate hand hygiene, cough hygiene, and physical distancing when possible. The cloth face mask. The cloth face masks are generally loose fitting homemade masks that are unable to be tested or approved. They are currently recommended by the CDC for everyone to wear in public settings. Examples are pharmacies, grocery stores, or hardware stores. The main purpose of the cloth mask is to act as a barrier against larger droplets formed from laughing, coughing, or sneezing. It is important that the user washes the mask at the end of each day for reuse the following day. It is a good idea to have two to three masks per person so that you don't have to run the washer every day. Just use a labeled brown paper bag to store the used masks and a labeled white paper bag for the masks that are fresh out of the dryer. For any masks that have lost their shape or are obviously soiled or stained, discard them immediately. Surgical face masks. These masks are generally preferred to be worn by healthcare workers. These masks are also the preferred masks to be worn by patients who are suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19. They provide a barrier of protection from droplets or fluids that may splash or spray onto the wearer. These are disposable masks not generally intended for reuse. Always wash your hands before donning or doffing the mask. Always try to protect the inner surface of the mask prior to storing. Store the mask in a clean, labeled paper bag. Don't move your mask to other body parts or slide the mask under your chin. Keep your labeled clean paper bag with you to easily store your mask. The N95 Respirator This is an N95 respirator. It is sometimes referred to as a mask, but this is incorrect. The N95 respirator has been tested and approved by NIOSH the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. They have been evaluated and validated to reduce exposure to small particle aerosols, while many also have a fluid resistant coat on the outside that provides a barrier to larger fluid droplets. Here, the nurse demonstrates the proper way of putting on and taking off her respirator, also known as donning and doffing. She is making sure not to contaminate the outer or inner surfaces of the respirator. These N95 respirators are intended for healthcare workers in high risk areas providing direct patient care to suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patients. The N95 respirators are tested on each intended user to ensure a proper fit and seal. This is necessary for the respirator to provide protection against small respirable particles that can penetrate deeper into the lungs. When use of a respirator is required to protect worker safety, the OSHA respiratory protection standard applies. Some examples include, the wearer must be medically cleared to wear the respirator. This process includes completing a questionnaire and receiving clearance from a healthcare professional to be fit tested for the N95 respirator. The wearer must pass fit testing of the N95 respirator by trained personnel. The wearer must properly don the respirator and perform a user seal check to ensure proper seal each time they don the respirator.